Hello and welcome to Paranormal Torch. Today we are talking about dictaphones and EVP. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and tickle the bell and I'll see you shortly. Now dictaphones come in all sorts of manner of shapes and sizes. This is a QR80 and this is similar to the one that you may have seen on many popular ghost hunting shows, the DR60. The DR60, if you get your hands on one, is very much a lot of money. Personally, is it worth the money? I mean, some of them are going for like two and a half grand. But the Little Brothers, you can find for about a few hundred pounds or less. They come in all manners of shapes and sizes. Here we have a QR80 and here we have a 150. Totally different shape, as you can see, but they are very popular in the paranormal field. Many other people use Olympus dictaphones or even Sony do dictaphones as well. But personally, it's your own choice and preference. Sometimes when I'm out on location, I like to use the old dictaphones that are recorded on tape. You can get them on DAT or cassette tape. This is a Sanyo cassette tape. In fact, I found this in the garage of my mum's new house when she moved in. So God knows how long it was there. Now, the only trouble with this is the tapes, obviously, you're gonna get loads of them hanging around and they're really hard to recycle. So that's why I don't use it too much. It's very easy to debunk certain things with EVP recorders, especially these type, because the slightest touch of your hand can create all manner of noises on the recording. And they are most likely then picked up and classed as an EVP when in fact they are not. Did I just hear you speak? So that's why when you do a recording with a dictaphone, it's best to hold it like that and do not move it around. Do not uh, rub your fingers over it or anything. So definitely worth keeping an eye on how you're holding it. In fact, some places I recommend you actually put it down on the table or a gravestone, whatever you're actually doing and see how it goes. Debunking the myth of the uh, DR60, could that be why these are more popular? Because of the amount of EPP supposedly they are captured compared to a Olympus dictaphone, this one here. The microphone is a little bit more hidden away and you can touch things and you get the sound of your touching things, but it don't seem to be as high as a DR60 or Q8 series Panasonic. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you did like this video. Comment below if you've got a thought or feeling on EVPs, electronic voice phenomena, or any dictaphones you may use, and it'd be great to kickstart the conversation. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.